Hi again. Uh, so the next of these 30 sayings of the wise that start in Proverbs chapter 22, and today we're on to verse 22, um, is something again that we've thought about before, but again, uh, needs we need reminding of because well, sometimes we forget and we just don't do it. So 22 verse 22, do not exploit the poor because they are poor. Do not crush the needy in court for the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. It's very easy, isn't it, to be superior, to feel that uh, our earning potential, our qualifications, our, our education has enabled us to um, be able to, to get a good job, to create a good income, to generate good wealth. Uh, it's very easy as part of that to look down on those who have less. Perhaps we will say that they've not tried as hard, uh, they're not as gifted, they're not as good. Uh, but that is not always the case, and certainly the element of goodness is not something that is for us to judge. So Solomon is very keen here that we are remember and are reminded not to exploit those who are poorer than we are. We're not to take advantage. Uh, we're not to assume that we're better because we're not. We are all created equal. We're all created in the image of God. And uh, so the exploitation of the poor, just because they're poor, just because they don't have the resources to, to battle against us, is not something that we should ever countenance according to Christian living. Uh, and so it is that I don't know how often or how frequently uh, you come into contact with people who are poor, genuinely poor. Maybe in this country we don't see very much of it. But let me ask myself as well as you to, to consider what can we do to better provide for those who are poorer than we are? How can we better uh, spread the benefits of, of our wealth to uh, enable others to, to prosper from our generosity and from God's goodness to us. All that we have has come from a generous and loving God. Uh, and I don't believe that he's given us all that we have to keep uh, tight-fistedly to ourselves. He's calling us to be uh, open-handed and generous of heart. So maybe we can try that challenge, we can accept that challenge for today and the days and weeks ahead, the rest of our lives. How can we better support and help those who are poorer? Let's pray. Uh, Father, the, uh, Jesus once said that the poor will always be with us. And maybe part of the reason for that is because you want to always be teaching us who are richer uh, how to help and how to be uh, Jesus to them. Please guide us, please help us, please enable us today and in the days ahead to know how better we can support those who are less fortunate uh, and less materially wealthy than we are. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Take care. Number three tomorrow.